After enjoying many nights of assistance from the magical elves, the shoemaker awoke to find an unpleasant surprise. Hmm. Time to see what the elves have left. What is this? This is odd, just one half done boot. This is not like them. Our family will go hungry. Master Shoemaker, we are here to serve. What seems to be the problem? Well, it's just that this is not like you. I, I feel like you're letting me down a little bit. Oh, no. So sorry. That was not our intention at all. No, sir. Probably the best thing to do is to teach us some kind of a lesson, you know, so we get the message. Yeah, like some sort of punishment. <laughs> punishment? Like, like what? Whatever you think is fair. It could be physical. <laughs> yeah, like some kind of physical discipline. Look, that's not my style. Why, why don't I just say try harder and then leave it at that? Oh, so no punishment? No, just do better. We won't let you down. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Cobbler. Good morning to you. You guys, this is all you've done. I mean, you've done nothing. Oh, no. Are you kidding? Oh. We just won't learn, will we? How are you gonna handle this, sir? <laughs> don't do that. This is serious. I have customers who need shoes, and I don't feel like making them. Totally. Probably calls for some physical punishment. Yeah, you must be so horny. I, I mean mad. <laughs> if I were you, I'd just grab me by the hair and shake me. Yeah, and I'd tie me up over here and stuff a crab apple in my mouth. <laughs> then take a paddle and crack it across both of our rear ends. Yeah, I think that would be a good motivator. <laughs> that would definitely put a fire under my butt. Speaking of butts, I want to go ahead and just flop over here and see if it tempts you to give me the spanking I deserve. You guys, just, just try, try it. it. Oh, all right, maybe just one little. Ha! Harder! Ha! Oh, it's got to be harder. Look, <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, for, forget this is insane. You guys are starting to really make me angry. It's completely justified. I, I guess you're gonna want to go to the restroom on us now. I guess I'll just unfold this plastic sheet, you know, to like protect the floor, but also to collect it just in case we want to use it for something later. I don't know. Everything is up to you. I'm not going to go to the restroom upon you. Now put that sheet away. I'm, I'm beginning to re regret rescuing you from that windowless cottage at the edges of the forest. Oh, so act on that. Act on that frustration. <laughs> Look, elves, come on. You don't know how much I want to dominate you both right now. <laughs> I so want to call you both the nastiest of names I can think of. Do it! Do exactly that! I want to take my pants off and parade around in front of you in my underwear. Great idea! I'm making so many pairs of shoes in my mind right now. <laughs> I want to make you call me daddy, and then I force you to wash the kitchen floor with sponges on your bottoms. I'm ready! Into it! <laughs> but alas, I can't do any of those things. And do you want to know why? Because I'm married. Husband! <laughs> oh no, how much did you hear? Enough to know that you must choose between me and the elves. <laughs> well, you heard her. What do you think I should do? If you think I should stay faithful to my wife, text the number one <laughs> to 1-800-555-0199. 
if you think I should sexually dominate the elves, <laughs> text two. We'll be back later with the results. Wow.